In this video, we'll explore how to expand expressions with three brackets. When we expand three brackets, we follow three steps. Step 1. We expand and simplify the terms in the first two brackets first. This means that, initially, we ignore the third bracket. Then for step 2, we multiply the answer by the terms in the third bracket. Then, for step 3, we simplify by combining any like terms. So let's start with step 1. We're going to expand and simplify the terms in the first two brackets. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by 4 is 4x. Next, we multiply minus 3 by x, which gives us minus 3x. Then we do minus 3 multiplied by 4, which is minus 12. Now we can simplify by combining the like terms. 4x minus 3x is 1x, which we just write as x. Now we're on to step 2, where we multiply the answer by the terms in the third bracket. It's easier to place the shortest bracket at the start. So x multiplied by x squared is x cubed. x multiplied by x is x squared. And x multiplied by minus 12 is minus 12x. Then we multiply minus 5 by x squared, which is minus 5x squared. Minus 5 multiplied by x is minus 5x. And then minus 5 multiplied by minus 12 is 60. Now we're on to step 3 where we can simplify by combining like terms. The first like terms I can see are x squared and minus 5x squared, which combine to make minus 4x squared. Minus 12x and minus 5x can also be combined to make minus 17x. Now we have expanded all three brackets to get x cubed minus 4x squared minus 17x plus 60. I'm going to expand and simplify two different examples now. If you'd like to have a go at expanding these yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. So here's the first example. So let's start with step 1. We're going to expand and simplify the terms in the first two brackets. a multiplied by a is a squared. a multiplied by minus 3 is minus 3a. Next we multiply 5 by a which is 5a. Then we do 5 multiplied by minus 3, which gives us minus 15. Now we can simplify by combining the like terms. We can combine minus 3a and 5a to get 2a. Now we're on to step 2, where we multiply the answer by the terms in the third bracket. It's easier to place the shortest bracket at the start. So a multiplied by a squared is a cubed. a multiplied by 2a is 2a squared. And a multiplied by minus 15 
is minus 15a. Then we multiply 10 by a squared, which is 10a squared. Then we multiply 10 by 2a, which gives us 20a. And then we multiply 10 by minus 15, which is minus 150. Now we're on to step 3, where we can simplify by combining like terms. The first like terms that I can see is 2a squared and 10a squared, which combine to make 12a squared. Minus 15a and 20a can also be combined to make 5a. Now we have expanded all three brackets to get a cubed, add 12a squared, add 5a, minus 150. Here's the last example. So let's start with step 1. We're going to expand and simplify the terms in the first two brackets. 2y multiplied by y is 2y squared. 2y multiplied by minus 2 is minus 4y. Next, we multiply 3 by y, which gives us 3y. Then we do 3 multiplied by minus 2, which gives us minus 6. Now we can simplify by combining the like terms. We can combine minus 4y and 3y to get minus y. Now we're on to step 2, where we multiply the answer by the terms in the third bracket. It's easier to place the shortest bracket at the start. So y multiplied by 2y squared is 2y cubed then y multiplied by minus y is minus y squared then y multiplied by minus 6 is minus 6y then we multiply 1 by 2y squared which is 2y squared then we multiply 1 by minus y which gives us minus y and then we multiply 1 by minus 6, which is minus 6. Now we're on to step 3, where we can simplify by combining like terms. The first like terms that I can see is minus y squared plus 2y squared. They combine to make plus y squared. Minus 6y and minus y can also be combined to make minus 7y. Now we have expanded all three brackets to get 2y cubed, add y squared, take away 7y, take away 6.